Let's look at Copilot, number Microsoft's offering. So there is a free version. You can use your per, like a personal Microsoft account, and you might have some limited limited credits for how much you can use it. But here's a question. I asked it. I asked it the same question, and it gave some bullet points. Now and and it even in in addition, it gave some references. So that's the difference between ChatGPT, well, the free version of ChatGPT, is that it'll include some links, working links. And this example here, so so I think I went on to to bmj.com. I checked through, and yeah, it looks like a legitimate source. It's a reputable journal by the look of it. I even have access via via BNU. So that's fantastic. It has uncovered an academic paper for me, which is pretty cool. Now, I'm going to, this is another example. Give, uh, give me some recommended academic journal articles that could help me start exploring applications of AI to mechanical engineering. Okay, so it gives me this, this list and it's embedded some links. Um, interesting though, if you look down at the bottom, the actual links, it calls this first one a peer-reviewed journal. Let's just highlight this, peer-reviewed journal. Um, but when you go down to it down here, it is not. So I told it, none of those are academic journals. And then it apologized and then gave me another list, which is here. And then quite nicely, the references that it did then include were from more kind of academic journals. So we got a couple of links on springer.com and these were kind of the legitimate articles. So sometimes they misbehave and sometimes they include links and misrepresent them. So that's the current, that's what we're currently dealing with. Initially in chat GPT, it would just make stuff up. Now, LLMs are making stuff up, but they're also including references, which can uh, make it more difficult for us to critique it. But we have to be aware. 